Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so today uh, I want to showcase a very powerful uh, stock screener that can be used for any stock exchange or any country in the world. I've shown this uh, in two separate videos, but this specific video is going out to those that have come to me looking for custom trading strategies or have an idea and they want to implement it and automate it. Here's what I propose. If you come to this website here at jstock.org, download the version that you want. Um, you know, there's uh, two major, all the major versions, Mac OS X, Linux, and Windows. And basically what we're going to do um, is I'm going to show you the general, what it does. So when you download it, you can expand it. Um, in my case, this is Mac, obviously. Uh, I'm going to run it on a Mac. Let's go open with Jar Launcher. Windows is much easier to open with. Um, so you'll, you'll, it'll scream at you uh, on which, uh, which icon to use. So now that we've got this open, um, so it said we can use any country we want to uh, scan on. So what we do is, um, right now I'm just using Israel as an example, uh, just due to the fact of uh, it's a small market. And uh, what we're going to do here is uh, we've got um, uh, in the database here, if you looked it up, there's only 539 stocks. So it's a small set to work with, which is good. So what we're going to do is if you come under the stock indicator, you can uh, basically what I'm wanting you to do is use this software to be able to generate alerts and indicators or signals uh, to your needs. Uh, and from there, uh, I can be able to, once we have those signals generated, I can then build another mechanism that will automatically uh, do the trades and orders. Um, based upon uh, how this, this alert indicator gets designed. If you come under here, under alert indicator, you can install a bunch of from the JSTOC server, go next, and then it will walk you through all the available um, indicators to use as examples. Um, in my case, uh, I'm gonna look at the top gainer so you, you have all the visuals here. I have really no idea how to really play around, but, but you know, it seems to be pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, let me just see if I can uh, get rid of this thing. And under each block, you have uh, a set of properties uh, here, and then you can just I guess has a constant of whatever you're uh, trying to do. So knowing that, uh, we can design our indicators and then create an alert. So the properties need for that. And then once we get the alert, uh, then in the source code uh, of JSTOCK, I can figure out, okay, you want to do something with that particular stock, which is obviously meaning you want to uh, put an order in. So we can definitely, uh, go from there uh, to build out the automated um, order management. Also, you have uh, the ability to uh, play around with the paper trading through this portfolio manager. Let me go back to the indicator. Um, I've shown this in another video. So what I want to do is if you come under your uh, stock indicator scanner, um, and we are going to do a particular scan on uh, just set the top gainers and uh, we can scan whatever criteria here so we're just do on the board of this TASE and off she goes so it's going to scan and it's going to it's going to maintain all those uh, uh, all the all the uh, stocks in this particular country again uh, Israel um, and, and in real time, it will watch those stocks and then create an alert that meet the criteria of your indicator. 
So from there, once we know we get an alert from the system, I can then um, put an order in and build all the mechanisms uh, or mechanics to put the order in. So as you can see here, this is an example of an alert that's met that criteria. And, uh, you know, it just takes a lot of work off of my end to be able to build this. So um, it's, it's awesome if you could uh, build these indicators yourself through JSTOC get it to a point where I can generate the uh, alerts that you want and uh, we can build automation uh, or automated orders from that. So that's what I, I would like to see from, from you uh, to be able to uh, make this happen um, because we can go on and on about uh, doing various uh, things uh, to, to get it to this point. But I think this is um, a pretty reasonable request uh, to get at least you get it to the point using this software JSTOC uh, to get the alerts generated and then from there I can generate the automation for order management using C++ uh, and Redis and then I can have a, a plugin I guess in this software using your uh, indicators. Let me know what you think and uh, we'll go from there okay um, and uh, over and out I guess talk to you later.